Right, um, hi, this is Jack Spicktree. Um, what you just heard was um, my track. Um, I just put on a Simon Patterson style kind of bass line. Um, so today I'm going to show you how to make um, this Simon Patterson bass. Let me solo it and let you hear how it sounds like. Um, it's uh, in the, the full form. So um, that's the sound we're going to learn how to make today. So uh, what you want to do now is make a new what, a new software instrument track a completely new one set it to uh, ES2 that's what we're going to be using to save um, now it's on this default preset um, you want to ch change it back to a, a mid, um, complete reset setting so um, I have the preset here you might have to find it online try and source online to find this complete reset preset I might put a link in the description Okay, um, so now we have our initialized ES2. So that's our initialized sound, um, we don't want that. So, first, what you want to do is um, route the cutoff of filter 1, which is set to now. Cutoff 1. Um, route it to envelope 1. Envelope 1 is uh, very good for plugs and all that. It's not a full envelope with uh, sustain and release. Actually, it has release, but um, it can only do either decay or release at the same time. So, um, set this to D or decay, and the default setting should uh, do fine. Um, so, now we can't hear anything yet. It's because the cutoff is too high, it, it is maxed out. So, uh, what you want to do is turn it all the way to zero. So, now we have the nice um, plucking kind of sound. So, next, um, you want to turn up the resonance a tiny bit up to about 39 Not sure if you can hear a difference but um, there is So uh, now that's the basic sound The body of the sound Now we uh, open an EQ Cut off the highs, we don't want the clicking noise That should be fine um, Boost it about 80 This about uh, there. Um, for the mid range, about here and here. Um, it all depends on your track. Um, you might need to mix it a, a little differently to work with your instruments. So uh, now I got um, all this ready. Next thing to do is to. Uh, Put in the notes. So the notes um, that you want to put in. Uh, wait, let me solo this. Um, they are just um, off the beat. Um, semi semitones, I think. Yeah, semitones. Um, so just put them off the beat. This is um, where the kick drum will play. And so we'll carry on with um, these three notes here. Uh, very side trancy. So uh, I'll play it now. Um, I'll put it with the kick and the percussion and all that. And everything else basically. So uh, now um, let's play it, give it a listen. Okay, it's a bit too loud, it's clipping actually, so you want to decrease this by about 5.4 dB, this um, bass. Yeah, um, that fits uh, better. So uh, we have percussion and all that, so now I unsolo them. So now um, what you want to do to make a pumping effect on the beat is to put a compressor. Side chain it to um, a kick, which is um, your side chain trigger. I, I put mine on bus 2. Um, just show you what's on my bus 2. Right, uh, this is my side chain bus 2. Uh, as you can see here, it's nothing on it. It's just a bus um, with a kick being sent to it. I um, It's actually a copy of my kick that's being sent to it. Um, and uh, I put uh, no output on this bus 2 so that um, the, the kick won't be doubled. And uh, um, cause complications or anything. So uh, I'm sorry. I should have put this on. I should have put a percussion on. 
so you can hear the sort of pumping effect. Actually, it won't be very prominent um, as um, it's already off the beat, and uh, side chaining makes it um, off the beat. So you just give it a little bit of a pumping edge. Um, you won't really hear a lot of um, change. So here it is. Um, I'll, I'll loop this. I'll loop, uh, I'll make a loop for this. Uh, let me copy this. Oops, sorry. So I copied my bass line all the way like that. Uh, so I'll play it now. For the side chain compressor plugin, um, you want to uh, set it to peak. Then uh, the ratio you can play with it. You can play with these settings also to get your the results that you want. Um, in this case, I'll just max it out. Yeah, gives it a really pumping feel. Um, I'll bypass this so you can compare it to without it. If you can hear it, um, this actually also makes the bass sound um, stronger, louder, compressor. So uh, now, last thing to do um, is to send this signal to a bus. Um, use an unused bus. Um, yeah, I'll just choose bus 8. There's nothing on there. Okay, my aux 8, my bus 8. Um, I'll just call it um, widener. Because uh, what we are actually going to do in this bus is to um, widen the the stereo width of the of the high frequencies of the bass sound. So uh, I'll just cut off all the frequencies uh, and leave just the highs at about here, um, like that. So uh, now um, to make a wider stereo image, um, we go to delay, at a delay sample delay. Um, the LR um, fill. Um, I, either one of them, but not both, um, with a value. Um, I would put I would put uh, five one three, five one three, as um this always work, works for me. So uh, that's um last last thing to do. Sorry, um is to go to your uh bass sound. Um, you see this circle thing. Send it to about full. Send it full. Or you can uh reduce the amount as long as it's um I think. Uh, depending on the amount of uh, stereo widening you want, uh, you can reduce or increase it. Um, in this case, I just put it full. Can't really hear it now, so uh, let me solo it. So solo the bass. So um, this is what's causing um, sort of a wideness in the the higher frequencies of the sound so I'll bypass it um, so you can compare change the amount of wideness as I said um, you can reduce this send to about maybe about one so it, um, the high frequencies are pushed to the edge of your speakers um, the left, the left and right um, spectrum. So uh, that's basically your Simon Patterson bass complete. Uh, so uh, now I'll play it back with all the other stuff. Uh, wait, um, wow. Sorry. So uh, give a listen. That's my Simon Patterson based tutorial. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from this. Um, please uh, subscribe to my uh, YouTube. Um, I'm going to be making a Facebook profile for my Jack Spit Tree channel. Um, I'm going to be yeah, making a Facebook page. So um, please um, stay tuned to my channel to know when it's up so you can like it. Um, please save this video in favorites, like it. Um, please comment if you need any help. Uh, so thanks for watching.